Hey guys, first of all I just want to say I know I've been away from the blog, the videos, the whole support group for a few weeks now and I just want to say from the bottom of my heart I'm really sorry for that but I had to take a step back for personal issues and but I know I left some of you in the lurch and I did still reply and I know it took a bit longer than usual to reply back to your messages. But I just want to know that I'm, the group's still here. I still care. I just needed to take a step back, just a tiny step back, just, you know, for my own personal mental health. And this is what the video is about, is, you know, telling you, it's, this video is sort of going to show you why it's not an easy road to recovery. Well, first of all, a few months ago, I noticed my mood starting to drop a bit. I mean, you know, you can be well on the road to recovery. You know, you can be feeling fine, but you have to watch for a slip up. And often or not, when you've had quite a few good days in a row, and they lead to more good days, you know, the bad ones don't bother you as much, but also you start, when you realize you have so many good days in a row, you start forgetting the techniques that got you those good days and make, you know, helped you make sure your bad days weren't as bad. And that's what happened to me. I was having quite a few good days for a while now and I started slipping up on the techniques that helped me get to those good days. So when I had a rather bad few days, well few weeks really, I didn't use the techniques that I should have to help me get back onto a safe level. I sort of ignored it and you know, do what any people that sort of do when they're sort of sad, you know, just prolong it. And, you know think it'll go away even though I should know better and know it doesn't go away so that started a few months ago and you know I started to decline a lot more and instead of looking out for the warning signs that I you know issued for myself and with my therapist over the time you know I had set rules of what you know if I felt my if I you know feel myself doing this then I have to use this technique and you know tell somebody and I completely ignored that because I thought I was better than that, you know, I was better. And you're not better than your techniques that got you to those good days. You know, you can be doing amazingly well and then have one slip up. And if you don't use the tools that you've learned to help you get back from that slip up, that slip up will then just completely take you off your feet. And that's what sort of happened to me. And so I noticed my mood getting worse and worse. I was isolating myself from my friends, from my family, you know, I wasn't interested in anything, you know, and I just felt a complete hypocrite these past few weeks from doing the blog and the support group, because when I started to realise how bad I was feeling, you know, and that all these techniques I was ignoring, I felt very bad about myself because I felt like a hypocrite. That I've been telling you techniques that have helped me so far and stuff I've learned in therapy and what to do even though I've said I'm nowhere near recovery but you know I felt like a bit of a hypocrite that I was telling you all these things that you know are helping me and I've ignored them these past few weeks so I started pulling back from the blog because I couldn't somewhere in my head I made up this whole thing that you know my words were useless if I'm not going to follow them why should anyone else so that started my mood, as many of you know who's got depression, will get lower. And that's what it did until one bad, bad day where I self-harmed for the first time in a while. And it was a bad self-harm. And after I'd done it, I just, well, I needed to, I don't know, I just needed to get the pain outside my head physically. I needed some control. I just... Like I said before, it is like a habit. It is like alcohol, drugs. You know, you need it. Take you fight that addiction every day, and when you, you know, you revert back to your old habits. And I needed to do it. And as soon as I'd done it, I was completely, you know, distraught about what I'd done because I'd gone so far and solving some problems without using self harm that I just reverted back to it. And as soon as I'd done it, I knew then straight away that something wasn't quite right with me, that I needed to get some help, you know, that things had taken a big backslide and that I couldn't do it alone anymore. I couldn't keep fighting it back. 
so what I did was, I know I took the rest of the day to sort of go think through on my own of my own feelings before I told my mum. You know, I knew I had to tell my mum because my mum is very close and conf a confident for me and I tell her most things. So the next day she was at work. So I knew that if I didn't get it out soon, I would chicken out. So while she was at work, I sent a text message to my mum and I said, as soon as you get back from work, we need to talk. And whatever you do, don't let me back out of it. Because I knew that if I hadn't have sent that text message, I would have backed out of it. As soon as she walked through the door, I wouldn't have said anything. So when she came home and she said, I got your message, what do you want to talk about? And I was like, it doesn't matter. And she was having none of that. And she's quite stubborn in that way. And I told her. And I had a good cry. And, you know, I was, I was disappointed in myself mostly. And that's what I was crying because I was so disappointed that, you know, I'd missed the huge warning signs glaring at me, telling me, you know, to stop it you know what to do, calm down, look out. And I blatantly ignored it and reverted back to this bad habit that I shouldn't have I shouldn't have let myself get there. So I cried for a, a while, you know, when my mum hugged me and calmed me down. And then she said, right, you're going back. We'll go back to see your doctor. And I see my doctor sort of regularly every three weeks. And um, I went to him... And, you know, he knew sort of something was quite up with me. And I told him everything, you know, that I hadn't been feeling right for a few months. And it didn't hit me until I'd self-harmed. And, you know, I think, you know, I need help. I can't, you know, I can't, you know, I seem to have gotten good at ignoring these huge signs at me. And I just, I need some help. So I'm going back to one type of therapy that helped me in the past, which is a talking therapy, which is mental health therapy. And so that will help me sort of, you know, talk through my feelings, you know, have someone to, you know, instead of holding it all in, I sort of can bl blit out to a stranger and I know that she's trained in that area and I can get a few more techniques that could help me, you know, if I, you know, if I fail to see the ones that I've laid out these few years. I can get some of that and also I mentioned how I'd been ignoring the blog because I felt sort of like I was betraying it and a very big hypocrite because of all you know I was telling you what was working for me and then all of a sudden it wasn't working for me and my doctor is quite a wise doctor and he said to me you know you've been honest because he's seen the videos he goes you've been honest you've said that you know you're not anywhere near recovery it's a long road and you know you can have slip ups he goes, no one's going to judge you for that. You just go on, you know, make a video, tell the truth, tell what's happened, and, you know, and they'll understand. And it's also, you know, proof that it ain't easy. And it really isn't easy. You know, these big slip-ups can come out of nowhere and completely catch you off guard. I mean, some slip-ups you can see coming and you're prepared for them. You know, they might not even be big or they could be small and you can deal with them with techniques you've learned. Whereas other slip-ups can completely wipe you off your feet and, you know, you can fall backwards, which is what I've done. And I knew that I couldn't ignore it anymore, you know. I started this group to help people and I'm not going to give up on the group just because I've had a few bad months. I said at the beginning that I was going to be totally honest and I am being honest and I think that it'll help maybe it might help people to know that you know you will have slip ups along the way but it's okay you know it's okay to take a while to sort of breathe it breathe through it and sort of recognize what's going on because I've been seeing therapists for a while now and and I've got these techniques I know my warning signs and I ignored them and it is like that, it just a simple choice can make, you know, your depression or something so much more worse. But I think as soon as you um, recognise that you're in trouble, I think it's very important that you either, you know, you feel you can do it by yourself or see somebody. But I think it's very important you take notice of it and not ignore it anymore. But I just really wanted this video to be about, you know, well, first of all, sorry that I've been away from the blog for a few weeks. 
and uh, this is the reason why and I'm so you know getting back on track and I'll be doing more blogs the videos will be coming again soon but I just really wanted to be honest with you you guys that you know that it ain't all sunshine and rainbows you can have these huge slip ups that can send you back quite a while and can completely you know bring back horrible horrible feelings that you thought you dealt with I mean, I completely felt worthless, you know, during the time. And I didn't like that feeling. I hated it because the last time I felt that worthless, I was carving worthless into my leg. And, you know, when I self-harmed, it was very hard to not go over that scar of worthlessness. But, you know, I didn't. And I think I felt quite, you know, strong by not going over that scar. And I also, you know... I'm proud, you have to be proud of yourself for, you know, when you recognise that you're not doing as well. I think it's very important to know that no one's going to judge you for slipping up. No one's going to hate you or, you know, make hurtful comments just because you self-harmed, you feel a certain way. You know, it's all part of the big, horrible journey. And I think people you know have the wrong idea that you know as soon as you get help you know you talk that is done but it's not you know it's a very very painful journey you know some bits make you know happy when you come when you, you know when you feel yourself going forward where you know you get rid of this horrible feeling you can stop self-harming you're not suicidal anymore but uh, I'd say 90% of it is very very painful because you're digging deep into yourself that you buried you know you don't want to talk about but you have to if you want to survive it and i think it's very very brave to do it and i think that as long as you admit to yourself that you're not okay then i think you're on the right track as long as you know yourself that you know that you need help or you you know you're not okay completely then i think you're sort of on the way on the journey but this video is basically just a sorry for being away for so long and i i will be back soon and you know you you can still email me you can message me you know blogs will be coming soon videos are becoming more frequently and i will still answer every message i can you know it might not be the next minute or hour but i will answer as soon as i can so you know don't feel upset or alarmed that i don't care if i don't answer straight away because i do it's just that i'm having a few problems at the minute as well and i don't want to bring those on to you i'd rather you know i'd rather you know deal with mine and i just also want to thank everybody for the people that haven't you know, known that I've been away for personal issues, they've still contacted me saying, am I okay? And, you know, is there anything they can do? And do I need to talk to someone? So thank you very much for those messages. It really, really means a lot. And I just want you to know that I'm still here and that I still very, very much care and that don't give up if you find yourself hitting a wall. You know, I I think it's very important to know that as soon as you hit this huge brick wall, it isn't like a sign saying give up. It's sort of, I don't know, I think it's sort of like a test. You know, I think sometimes you do get tested. I think you sort of test yourself, you know, you get given this, you think you're doing well. So you sort of test yourself if you can manage it and sometimes you'll fail. And it's like in school, you fail and you can retake it. You retake it, you, re you, ha you look at the problem like you do with revision and you do it and then you do it better. And I think, you know, it's very important that there's no really right or wrong way to get through depression at all. I think you do it at your own pace, you do it your own way and you do it in a way you're comfortable in yourself. There's no point doing it if it isn't what you want or you're not comfortable doing it because it's not going to work so thank you again for all the messages and i'm very very sorry 
but if anyone needs me i will i am here as always and all the links are on the youtube channel so thank you very much